gonna get okay, some. Okay, you've had enough. enough. <laughs> you've had enough. So. No, no, Lauren, no. You have to take <laughs> it away. You have to take it away, Lauren. <laughs> Welcome back to another Japan vlog. On day seven in Kyoto, it was a rainy day, but we made the most out of it. We started our day at Fushimi Inari and explored the food stalls and shops around the area. After that, we made our way to a cat cafe and relax indoors. Lastly, we wrapped up our day at Nishiki Market. After a packed day from yesterday, we decided to sleep in a little and start our day a little later. To wake us up in the morning, we stopped by a local coffee shop. This was an incredible place where we learned that the owner actually roasts his beans every single morning. Watching him calmly make a cup of coffee was quite relaxing and mesmerizing to see a master at his craft. Before we left, I bought some delicious and aromatic coffee for myself and some souvenirs for my friends. Lauren, tell us what we're doing today. Uh, it's a rainy day. We slept in very late. And then <laughs> we went to a local coffee shop. And the guy was very nice. And it smelled amazing. And we got coffee. And it's like the smoothest <laughs> coffee I've ever had. Uh -huh. And then we bought some coffee beans for yep. souvenirs. And then we went to Family Mart and I bought like 500 snacks. Yeah. And, and a made... yogurt. And I tried my first pizza bun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, pizza There's bun. Pizza. <laughs> and then now we're going to Fushimi Nari. Uh huh. Uh, and then this actually afternoon. we're going to the bakery right before we get into. Oh, I the, forgot uh, about the bakery. Yeah, we're going to the bakery right next to the uh, station. Okay, then we're going to Fushimi Nari. Uh huh. And then we're gonna go to Nishiki Market, the Mocha Cat Cafe, the fancy. Uh -huh. And maybe a 3D latte or place in that. Yeah, it's a perfect day to kind of stay indoor. So after Fushimi and Nari, most of our plans are indoors. So we'll see how it goes. Bye. On our way to the train station, I showed Lord, Mika, and Ian the bakery shop I went to yesterday. We all bought a light breakfast and snacks for later. After a quick train ride, we made it to Fushimi Inari Taisha. There was still surprisingly a fair amount of people there despite the relentless rain. We strolled around the temple, shopped at the souvenir shop, and took a tons of pictures before we started the hike up the mountain through the thousand Tori gates.
Okay. So, we are finally at... At the start of the Thousand Red Story Fish. Yes, Fushimi Inari. I got a plushie. Uh, Kitsune. Mm hmm. He's like a ball. Yep. And it's and raining a lot. Yeah, it's raining a lot. There's tons of people with umbrellas. Uh, I think we might come back, you said tomorrow? Yeah, we'll come back. Like tomorrow early morning. in the morning. So there's no one here. Um, We're cute. Folks. Yeah. Where's Ian? Oh, there's Ian. <laughs> After making our way through the first couple sections of the Tory gates, there were significantly fewer tourists and we were able to enjoy the scenery and the different shrines on the way up. Okay, update. We are still hiking, but we have lost a lot of tourists um, in the upper levels or towards further we go into the hike. There's Lauren. Hey. What's up out here? And where's, where's Mika? Oh, Mika's back there. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can make it to the top or uh, some clean photos even though it's raining like crazy Okay, so uh, I think we're only just a quarter way up, uh, and then I think yeah, it's, it's definitely not. Yeah, it's definitely three miles round trip. But what we can get is ice cream, and then they're just finishing up on some photos over there. Yes, we're getting ice cream. Hey, do you guys want to get ice cream with us? Uh, we're splitting one. We're splitting one. We're splitting one cone. Don't think Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay, ice cream it is. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. I'm getting ice cream. Okay. Good. Yeah. 
Powered up with some ice cream, we made our way down the mountain and started to make plans to explore the city indoors and find an escape from the rain. We were fortunate to find the resting area towards the end where we were able to enjoy the scrumptious snacks we bought from the bakery. After making our way back to the entrance of Fushimi and Ari Taisha, we decided to explore the different shops and food stalls in the nearby streets. And obviously, we had to try some of the food offered there. Side note, Lauren loves cats and she was trying to feed the lonely kitty here, but it seems like the kitty wasn't interested at all. On our way to the train station, we stumbled upon a friendly shop owner showing us how he makes candied strawberries. Oh! Wow! Wow! Sugoi! Wow. All the while, I noticed the mochis he had on display, and I couldn't resist buying a dessert to end our food crawl. It's a, a uji matcha. Yeah. Matcha. He That's, said it's special to uh, uji. Yeah, special to Kyoto. Mm. So. <laughs> Let me see. Mm. Is it red bean? Hmm? Is it matcha. red bean? It's matcha. Matcha. Matcha bean. But it's still a paste. Oh, matcha paste. Hmm. <laughs> you have you have powder <laughs> over your mouth. <laughs> Joey's Lauren. been doing some what? cocaine. You want to try? 
Just a little bit. I'm full. I had a hole on it. I saw this. I saw this. That was four days ago. Mmm. 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 It's good. Nice. Oishiyo. Oishiyo. Once again, the matcha flavor is very strong. Yeah. <laughs> like that ice cream. Yeah, that ice cream was strong. Yeah, it was. You want? No, you finish. I'll we'll finish it. Matcha, baby. I like how you go matcha, and people who hear you are probably like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Here, we went to a JR station we came from, but when we checked Google Maps, we realized we had gone to the wrong train station. It wasn't a big deal, we just continued exploring the area on our way to the correct station. You want a sample? You want to try? Yeah, in the bar. Go, Mika, go. You want to try? She wants to try. Inside. Oh, inside. Okay. Ikimashou. <laughs> Oh. I got the It's Bikaki. I think so. Mm. Yeah. What? Spicy? No. Not really. Delicious though. A little heat. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, now you hold. Yeah. <laughs> Is it already recording? Yeah, it's already recording. For the cocktail, huh? Yeah, that's what I said. It's good. Mm. Next on our itinerary list was a cat cafe. Our last cat cafe experience was a little underwhelming, so this time we decided to go to a well-known popular chain called Mocha. On our way there, walking through the streets of Nishiki area was definitely very different from the hustle and bustle in Tokyo. So we made it into a cat cafe, we're just currently getting some drinks. Hey Lauren, are you enjoying it? Yeah, this is so nice. This is like a bougie.
Ooh, this boy wants some. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you cannot go. Let's throw the cat. Right, pull it away. Let's see if you pull it away. <laughs> his face. It's on his face. <laughs> Okay, you've had enough. <laughs> you've had enough. So. No, no, Lord, no. You, have to take <laughs> it away. you have to take it away, Laura. <laughs> You should get one. I just bought one. I already have a cat coin purse, but they're very cute. Yeah. How was your experience at the, the Mocha Cat Cafe? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? The cats were so soft and uh -huh. friendly. And it was so cute. And it smelled good in there. And it had lots of natural lighting. Good. Lots of places for the cats to have. Nice. How about you, Ian and Lauren? What do you guys think of the Cat Cafe? It was, it was great. It. it was definitely worth the marginal price increase. Yes. Yeah. And the cats were so soft and well taken care of. Yes. And they loved the cats. And they were so fun. Nice. Yeah, they were really cute. They were beautiful cats. I'm yeah. glad you guys had a good experience. Yeah. After a serotonin boost from the kitties, we made our way to Nishiki Market to shop around and of course, get more food. Walking through Nishiki Market was definitely my favorite part of Kyoto. I was able to see the different shops perfecting their craft and I'm always excited to see the numerous food options to choose from.
is that, Mika? Is it soap? Yeah. Soap ball? Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> wow. It's very, very soft. Very soft and tender. Wow. Grilled octopus and grilled scallop. Mm. They're both very simple, but I like it. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Damn, this scallop is good. You guys should try the scallop. If you guys, if you want to. I mean, it comes in two. You guys can each have one.
skewer. Oh, oh my gosh. My other one. Oh, wow, this is like a, this is a full meal right here. Oh, wow. This is eel? This is eel. Eel bowl. And there's miso soup. I didn't even, I didn't even know miso soup came with. I think this is what you dip your eel in. Oh. Hmm. And rice? Yep, and then rice right under. I think the, the cool thing I was going to say is if I could squeeze this and the lemon juice just drips all the way down. Nice. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Juicy? Yeah, it's still really tender and juicy. Not uh, like as soft as the other one. But it's like still really like tender and nice uh, kryptonite. Mm. Wow. No try a piece? No, no. Okay. <laughs> All you. So I moved on. I finished the beef. Um, it was very good, very tender, very juicy. It's time to move on to the unagi bowl. I'm starting with uh, the miso soup. This is actually really good on a rainy, cold day today. I didn't actually... Oh yeah, I did. I did have some miso soup. I had miso ramen. Oh yeah, miso ramen. It was good. And then, oh, the star of the show, the nagi bowl. Let's see. Mm, okay. Nice and soft rice. Mm. Oh wow. The nagi is very, very soft and tender. How do they catch them? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's not, they're not like fish. They don't swim very close right. to the surface, right? Right, you yeah. know? How do they catch them? Maybe it's like kind of like how you fish crabs. Like you put a cage in the bait inside. Oh, on the bottom of the yeah. ocean? Yeah. I didn't know that's how they catch crabs. But it makes sense. Mm -hmm. mm. There's actually like some like very small like micro bones, but like they're kind of just like soft bone, like cartilage. Mm. This is worth it more. I was like, for a second, it was like 20, 2200 yen, I'm like, for a bowl, but then there's like soup and like it's three nice. pieces. Yeah. I don't understand if that's a separate restaurant or if it's all part you know, of this. I don't know. I think it's a separate restaurant. Yeah. They just squeeze in restaurants wherever they can. I agree. It's also, um, right now it's uh, 6.41, so a lot of stores have closed, so it, it's like a lot harder to look for food right now, but fortunately there's still a couple stores going strong, like this one. Ian just got his oh. kayak. Oh. It's hot. Mm. Hot off the press. Made, huh? Yeah. What Literally hot you get? off the press. Mm. Mika will be trying this. How's your stuff? Very good. Good. I finished the beef like okay, very fast. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't as soft, but it was. It was like. Like top grade, like USDA type of quality, you know? 
Wait, can I get a pick? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you covering up the part that you bit? Yeah. Okay. Here, I can cut this. Yeah? This isn't so me, so me. Not so me, so me? <laughs> it's a real thing. Wow. Only two nine. Yeah, cheap. Nice. Nice. With our bellies filled, it was time to make our way back to the Airbnb. While waiting for a bus, we saw and heard a group of musicians playing some traditional Japanese instruments. Also, we stumbled upon a Pokemon store in front of the bus stop. It was incredible to see the different figures and statues they had on display. And that wraps up our last day in Kyoto.